Oh, yeah, between earning a gold record, having the most streamed Canadian country song of the year, and taking home the CCMA Rising Star Award, it has been a huge year for the Rec Laws. And to cap it, to cap it, yeah. this Sunday, the brother sister duo will play the Grey Cup kickoff show before they head to Alberta, though. Jenna Stuart Walker are kind enough to join us here on Good BT. Morning. Thank you very much for coming in. Guys. Thanks for having us. Congratulations on this everything. Is the, this is the cap for the years being on BT this, this morning. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, can we please talk about how this all came to be in terms of building the momentum towards Sunday's game? Crazy. Yeah. I mean, we put out a single in, I think, Feb June. February. February. 16th. Jeez. Yeah. February. Close. June. Close. February. I mean, off a couple. <laughs> but, uh, not realizing that the different life that this song would take on. Um, we were supposed to play, like they made the song, the theme song all summer long for Thursday Night Football, mm -hmm. and then we were supposed to play the first like game of the year at, in Winnipeg, and it was the longest game in CFL history because we got <laughs> rained out. Crazy. They had no time for us. Um, and after that happened, like we thought we were just down on ourselves and upset, <laughs> and then the commissioner, Randy, like called us into, into the broadcast, TSN, yeah. and like we're just, the, they brought the Grey Cup out and like, would you guys be okay if you played the kickoff show? We're like, yeah. It's an, it's an okay yeah. makeup, isn't it? Well, I yeah. guess so, I yeah. Mean, totally. <laughs> it's all meant to be. Rain, Rain is a good, is a good thing. thing. Is yeah. <laughs> I know you guys have three other siblings. Are they all equally good looking? Because you two are unbelievably oh beautiful. My. And as talented, are you all musically inclined? Like, what do the other ones do? Now, our older sister's a chiropractor with our dad. Yes. Two younger girls are, one just started university and the other's in grade 11. So awesome. they're just guiding Figuring themselves, themselves through life yep. a little bit. Yep. But like, Come Christmas time, you're, I bet you you're all singing up a storm. Oh yeah. yeah, give us the carols. <laughs> and, and you talked about your parents are enter. You actually, you might have air quotes on that. One. Entertainers. entertainers. Oh yes, yeah. very much entertainers. We grew up on an adventure farm, so weekends in October, our whole childhood, we dressed up like hillbillies and put on a show for the public. I love it. Yeah, and our mom ran the pig race show, and our dad dressed up like Mrs. Doubtfire kind of thing. <laughs> and they did were it. so proud of you too. Oh. Listen, I looked at the rec laws because we were like, what is a like? That sounds like a made up word. What's a rec law? We know about like a recluse or an outlaw. Recluse, yeah. But it's actually your last name flipped. That's yes. right. Walker backwards. Walker backwards. Yes. So it inspired us. We're going to play a little game. Oh, good. Uh -oh. Rhymes with rec laws. Rec -laws. Okay. Ready? Okay. So we're going to lead up a sentence and it has to rhyme with rec laws. Ready? Okay. Great. Thicken hats on. First one up. On Christmas, kids hope to be visited by Santa. Claus. Claus. Yeah, you're getting right. into this. Dorothy and Toto met the wizard of. Oz. <laughs> a, cat, a cat can hurt with a scratch of its claws. <laughs> when you finish your show, we hope you get a round of claws. Nice. This one's bizarre, but it's cold at the Great Cup. You might have to blow your snob. <laughs> yeah. I that's all right. that we, we thought we'd end it on a classy note because okay. it's true. It's going to be cold, but you were prepping for it. There's going to be, I don't know if you could say what it's going to be, but it's a big event, a big production, right? Yes. Very yes. big production, yes. We're excited. We've been planning a lot, and I mean, it's going to be cold, but we'll probably be numb anyway. So. Does, it, does it change how you play when it's cold like that? Or it's saying, like, do you have to think about different things? You know when you, like, come around the corner of a building in Toronto and the wind hits you and your yeah, go, you get taken away? I just hope so that stick, doesn't happen. Stick around until tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. What's happening after? So let's look into 2019. Yes. What are you What are you doing? Where do we see you? So we just finished this EP, and now we're hoping to round out the album. We're going to release probably three more songs, we're hoping. And then that'll take us through the summer. We're going to be out touring a bunch, meeting fans. That's important to us. We've been, we have great fans that have been really there for us we for a long time. Finally, get to see Canada too. Like we've yeah. never done a full, like, actual tour across the country. Guys, it's what's your great. family saying about all the success? I mean, what you've done in such a short time is truly remarkable. There's a lot of people competing, you know, for the yeah. top of the charts. Yeah, yeah we're very, very lucky, and our family's been so supportive. Like, in times when things weren't going well, they've yeah. always been like, it's going to happen, so just keep going. So, I mean, we've been really lucky to have that. And just enjoying it and having fun with it. Right? Yeah, of course. Who That's did awesome. you love listening to growing up? What was your go-to? Uh, we, yeah. I, I think mine was Dixie Chicks. Oh. I loved them. They were just like girl power, you know. Totally. Taylor Swift, of course. I think. I love. I love Johnny Cash. Yeah. Yes. Classic. Yes. Johnny You're Cash. Good man. Uh, yeah. Can I know you like a little Johnny Cash? No. no, absolutely not. <laughs> CFL don't Green Cup kickoff yeah. show happens this Sunday in Edmonton. Make sure you tune in. Go to breakfasttelevision.ca for more info. How about other brother or sister acts? A little Donnie and Marie Osmond? Our Love parents, like, our parents you need to the DVDs, are like, just study them. I had, I had the Barbie dolls. They were on the show. They were totally creeped out because I used to make them kiss. I didn't know they were brother and sister. Oh, my gosh. Keep, keep talking. Keep chatting. we got to go to break. <laughs> and I told the them that, too. It was very awkward. <laughs>